Okay, so once again, guys, thank you for attending. We have uh, a, a big number sa uh, PRC Fin 1 and only four for only one, two, three, six for PRC Fin 2. This is a PRC Fin 2, medyo kabis, you know, mag PRC Fin 2 next term, medyo alam na naman nila yun. But again, yung mga changes, ha? kaya nga rin record natin for those who are not able to attend today's meeting. Okay, so we had a meeting last uh, Friday and there are some changes that need to be, that we need to be aware of in uh, <clears throat> in applying for OJT for next term. No? Now I I hope that you can fill this up. Itong ano itong kasi I want you to be monitoring yung galaw kung gan ga, gano katagal yung ano yung yung pag-apply niyo ng ano ng ng MOA dun sa company. So kindly write here guys for Procrin 1 Procrin 2 ano ba yung company na ano na nag for those of you who have already sent your request letter. Okay, kindly Kindly identify here the company that you're applying for. Uh, maybe if it's uh, okay, insert it on some column. Insert. If you're applying, for example, tatlo na ina apply nyo or four. So maglagi lang tayo dito. We would just like to know para ano para yan. HTI applying for no. I I put here I place here four columns so that I'll know guys kung ilan yung companies. Ang suggestion ko nga guys ha, you apply for for the uh, with different companies para mas malaking chance na ma ma tanggap kayo no. I I have been signing some endorsement letters. Ang na notice ko lang guys na parang iisa lang ina apply nyo no. I I already signed more than ten. Tapos isang company lang yung ina-apply nyo. There are other companies that you should, you may wish to consider. Okay, kasi usually guys, yung mga companies, uh, ang so far ang nagiging, ang maximum na tinatanggap nila, five. Eh. Sa isang company. The rest are just one or two. Hindi sila tumatanggap ng maraming OJT students kasi alam nila na baka walang maipagawa dun sa student. Especially that we're doing work from home at this time. Okay, so uh, please il ilagay nyo dito guys kung anong company na ina-apply nyo. And also insert here. And then I'll be requesting you guys to monitor kung gaano katagal mag, mag process yung company no kasi pag masyadong matagal yan uh, we want to know kasi we'd like also to provide feedback to OULC Okay so HT applying for kung ano na yung ano guys yung tapos status ah uh, kamusta na yung application ano na yung status ba Okay, so as I mentioned, guys, mag request ako ng monitoring from you. Kung kailan yung ina, uh, kailan, kailan kailan apply ng H dun sa HTE. Tapos kung kailan in okay ni HTE. Then, ah, uh, pwedeng paki ano, paki. Mute na lang muna. Okay, thank you. Okay. And then, monitor natin guys, bawat isa sa atin, bawat isa sa inyo guys, I'd like us to determine kung kailan pinadala sa OULC. So please take note of that. No? Kailan natin pinadala application or yung request letter sa OULC, uh, I mean sa HTE. And then when did they, did they act on it? Kung kailan? kung kailan nila inaction na yun. Kasi we'd like to count the number of days on the average. Kasi wala tayong ganun information eh. Uh, last time hindi ko na-capture yan. Kaya I'd like to capture that for this term. How many days did it take the, the HTE to process the application? Okay. And then kung kailan natin 
Uh, and then from there, kailan natin sinend sa OULC. Uh, OULC of Perry, no? Of Perry, actually, yung pinapadala muna natin. Okay. Uh, normally, guys, I give myself just one day. Pag napadala nyo na sa akin or bago nyo ipadala, you inform me first. Tapos, uh, what we do, guys, is uh, mag-meet tayo uh, sa Zoom. And then we'll go to the documents individually. And then, sa sign-on ko na right there and then. Tapos, ipapadala ko na sa of Perry pag uh, complete na yung documents. No? And then, uh, isisisi ko kayo para alam nyo, para may copy kayo guys ng mga documents na sinainan ko. Okay, so let's uh, quickly go back guys to the uh, uh, documents that are required. If you take a look at our drive, okay. uh, yung mga MOA, OULC requirements, di ba lima yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, yung lima yan guys yung institutional MOA student MOA internship plan uh, IRF FRF and then the of Perry document so may mga konting revisions linagay ko dito sa revised na okay, so these are the, the five documents you have the uh, we have the institutional MOA the student MOA the internship plan the form 1 and 3 joint IRF FRF and then the uh, of very form. Okay. Now, when you send to me the documents later on, dapat naka PDF lahat na. Ito naka word lang to, pero dapat naka PDF lahat na isa send you sa akin na document para mas madali siyang sign on. Okay. All the documents should be in PDF form. Okay. So, ano yung mga changes na nangyari based on the meeting that we had? Okay. This will be some of the changes. Number one, tinan natin tong, in, tinan natin tong institutional MOA. The institutional MOA, ang changes niyan, dati si Dean lang yung pumipirma. No? Ngayon, ang pumipirma, ang pipirma na dyan, yung Vice Chancellor for Academics na. So this is Dr. Robert Roleda. I'll provide the name. No? So ito na ilalagay natin. Dr. Robert Roleda, of course the company, okay, the, the, uh, and the uh, address of the company, then the position, and name of the authorized representative of the HTE. Okay, and then again, kung may mga tatanggalin, actually, ang binago dito, uh, saan na yung, ano, yung, any position? Surrender dapat, no? Ah, saan na yung, ano, dito, yung, Ito, no? Uh, so ngayon, since may option na, no, hindi na mandatory yung, ano, yung, yung, uh, yung allowance. No? The HTE has the option to provide. Option na lang yan. So hindi na natin kailangan i-change yan dun sa IRF. Kasi dati, yung institutional mawa nakalagay, the HTE shall provide an equivalent of at least. So wala yung option. Kaya nga, linalagay pa natin dun sa amendment form na delete this. Delete this. Okay? Kung, kung okay na sa ano yan, kung okay na sa HTE, then uh, okay na. No? Okay, yung ano, yung, yung starting date, Ito na yung ano, ito na yung medyo ano natin ano, yung starting date ng institutional MOA kasi ang rinerequire natin ng ng VLS yung ngayon dapat yung ano na yung yung duration na nito dapat 1 year na. Okay, dapat 1 year. So kunyari, ah uh, pagsisimula kayo July 1, no? July 1, ah, kunyari oh, September, uh, October 1, 2021. Dapat 'yan until September 31, uh, 2022. Okay, so we'll have to talk. You have to talk to the HTE. If you need me to uh, also uh, talk to them about the, the duration, okay, uh, then I will help you on that. No, kung kailangan nyo. Pero kung kaya nyo na explain on your own, then hindi na ako papasok sa picture. Now, bakit one year? Now, the one year, guys, is that para hindi na paulit-ulit yung institutional bawa. Kasi kadalasan naman yung mga companies, 
uh, talagang tumatanggap naman sila ng ng OJT uh, students uh, regularly. So, ang nangyayari kasi sa atin ngayon, linilimit lang into one term. Okay, so that means the following term, mag-aano na naman ng institutional MOA, magsasign na naman. No? So, but if it's one year or even more than one year, then okay lang yun kasi pwede nang pirmahan niya. Ang pipirma na niyan, si BCA, dati kasi si Dean, ang Dean natin, ngayon si BCA na ang pipirma, tapos magagamit na yan for the succeeding ano succeeding uh, succeeding uh, terms no so kaya nga tayo nagpapalagay ng nagaan dito nagmo-monitoring kasi guys pwede kayong magtulungan kunyari nag-apply kayo sa company A kunyari apat kayo kunyari lima kayo then uh, pwedeng ano pwedeng you can uh, talk to the HTE para yung start at saka yung end nyo, pare-pareho. Kanyari, uh, it should be, para for your purposes, it should be yung beginning of term natin for next term. Do you know kung kailan ba yung beginning natin for next term? Alam nyo na ba kung kailan yung beginning ng term 1, 2021 to 2022? Kasi ako, hindi ko pa alam. No? Uh, anyone, guys? Tentative daw yung October Sir? 3rd. Yes? 11 po. October 11 daw. Ano na yun? Sure na yun? Hindi pa. Tapos, uh, Bea, sa muna ko yung October 13. Ano ba yung October 1? Is October 1 Monday? October 11 pala, I mean. A anong day yung October 11, guys? Anong araw? Okay, Monday. Okay, thank you. Hindi ko pala nakita yung chat. Monday, October 11. Uh, ah, Meron naman dito kay Bea. O, oh, Saturday ba? Ah, October 1 yata yung sinasabi ko kanina. No? Okay, October 11 or October 13. So, hindi natin alam guys. So, tentatively, ang ilalagay nyo dito, kung if it's October 11, ang ilalagay natin dito sa start, sa section 3, effectivity of the contract shall be from October 11 up to well, October 10. Preferably guys, no? October 10 ng... 2022. At least one year. No? Yun ang re-require sa ating ngayon. Dapat yung institutional MOA, dapat one year yung duration. Okay. So, uh, so company name, authorized representative nila, ganun din. No? Ang nabago lang dito, dati yung signatory natin Okay. Uh, so, sa institutional MOA, guys, ang pipirma, yung authorized representative ng HTE, yung VCA natin, si Dr. Robert Roleda, and then yung supervisor, and then uh, ako or si Sir Ed, pero malamang ako kasi nakalib this term si Sir Ed. So, <clears throat> ako pipirma nito, no? Uh, dapat siguro palitan ko na ito. <clears throat> Yan, dinalitan ko lang dyan is para, para, tapos yung mga pangalan na lang. Ng, ano. And then I'll give the details guys, wala pa akong details ng ano, nung, nung identity, yung proof identity ni, uh, ni Vice Chancellor. Tapos hindi pa rin, guys, hindi pa rin ito ipapaano. 
hindi pa rin siya ipapa uh, notarize wala pang requirement ng ganun. Okay, so ito guys yung pinaka main na ano na change dun sa sa document natin, no? Ito okay lang to kung kailan na uh, kung kailan pinirmahan. Okay? Now another change guys is Okay, another change is minsan kasi dito nagtatagal. Dito nagtatagal dito sa pagpirma ng authorized representative. Now, pwede ang pwede ngayon na bago pa pirmahan to kung okay na sa ano to, if this uh, is if this provision is already okay with the company. Okay, kung okay na sa kanila yung provisions dito, uh, tapos nakuha niyo na yung pangalan ng authorized representative nila, pati internship uh, supervisor, kahit na hindi pa nila napapapirmahan, pwede na natin i-forward sa OULC. For as long as okay na yung pangalan ng uh, internship supervisor at saka yung authorized representative nila. Okay, pati yung ano yung proof of identity. Even without the, these signatures, pwede na natin i-forward sa OULC. Kasi doon dati nag, nagkaroon ng problema, guys. Kasi minsan, tumatagal yung, ano, yung pag-sign ng authorized representative na HTE. Now, if they're okay with the document already, even without, uh, if you can uh, ask permission from them, uh, in fact, para mas maganda na lang na ano eh, na sabihin na lang natin na, na kung okay na sa kanila yung provisions ng contract ng NOVA, and then pasayin na natin sa ano sa sa BCA. Wag na muna natin hintay yung signature nila kahit na sa dulo kahit sa dulo na lang silang sa sign. Okay, kasi mas hindi natin control yung yung pag-sign nila. Okay, clear ba yun, guys? Paki-chat nga kung clear. Okay, good. Thank you. So ang ta-targetin natin, guys, Okay. Makuha natin yung say so nila kung okay na yung document. Tapos sasabihin lang muna natin kung uh, kung wala na silang papabago doon kung okay na yung yung uh, tenor ng ano institutional MOA, then papapirma na natin kay BCA to. Okay? Ipirma ko na rin. Tapos kahit na sa dulo na lang yung authorized representative nila at saka yung internship supervisor. Okay? For as long as guys makuha na natin yung ano ha, yung proof of identity in details, no? We have to get this already. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Yun ang main change, guys, ano, sa, sa institutional MOA. Yung, the rest will be the same. No? Student MOA, at saka yung ano, walang, walang, walang changes dun. Student MOA, tapos internship plan, okay lang yun. Tapos yung, uh, yung therefore, ang mangyayari ngayon sa FRF, okay, so itong IRF, no, guys, no? Name of, name of signatory dito will be now yung si BCA. No? <clears throat> so magiging ano na to, Dr. Nalim po muna yung ano, Dr. Robert C. Roleda. Uh, let me check first guys. Ha? Let me check yung middle. Baka magkamali ako. No? Basta itong mga documents. So nasa ano natin guys. Nasa, nasa ano natin. Nasa G Drive natin. No? Okay, Department of Unit, alam niyo na to, Financial Management Department. So pwede natin baguhin po. Contact person and local number, ako pwede to, no? Parang to. Tapos yung document title, ganun pa rin yung dati. Uh, yung unang na pag-usapan natin ganun ganun pa rin no? yung MOA between okay <clears throat> ganun pa rin yan no uh, yung HTE at saka yung DLSG okay then this will be ito OJT and internship agreements tapos kung wala naman change yes name of other contracting party HTE amount involved if any none Okay, subject matter, meron na rin ako binigay dito dati, no? Uh, I-ano ko na lang. And from, until, duration. Ito guys, we, we'll have another meeting kasi. I'll clarify this first, no? So may mga, ano pa, may mga, uh, ano pa sa akin, may mga unclear areas. Pero before I, ano, before I really, ang gagawin ko guys dito, yung pwede ko na fill up on, fill up on ko na, no? Tapos yung, kasi itong, document title, laligang ko siguro to ng kunyari, ng HTE 
talagang ko na-name na HTE para alam nyo na dapat papalitan nyo yun, no? yung HTE. Yung DLS yun, syempre DLS yun naman. Pati itong, uh, of course, yung name of other contracting party yung HTE ito. No? Okay. Subject matter, ilalagay ko rin ito. Ito, I'll just clarify this first. And then regular. Okay, so yan guys, yung ano, yung form 1-3. Tapos yung form 1-2, ganun din. No? Parang similar lang siya sa, ano, sa form 1-3. Okay, wala siyang masyadong difference. Dinobre lang nila. Okay. All right. So, any questions so far, guys? No questions? Student MOA, uh, kung kailan to pinirma ng HTE. Okay. And then, ano ba dito? Okay. Uh, I think 300 hours yung iba sa inyo. Pag 200, 200. Okay. Ito guys, sorry, i-verify ko muna to. If Will this be the same as yung October 1 dun sa, ano? October 11 dun sa institutional MOA? Okay. <clears throat> May mga loose ends pa kasi na, ano na, uh, I just want to make to be sure guys, bago ko uh, amin to, no? Tapos mag-propose na lang ako sa ano natin, sa sa group natin. Okay, venue, uh, yung address lang ng company. Okay, start and end, usually 8 to 5 yan, 9 to 6, etc. Okay. So dito ang pipirma guys, <clears throat> uh, is yung authorized representative ng company, kayo, yung parents nyo, supervisor nila, at saka ako. No? Tapos, company representative at saka student, yung proof of identity. So, yun guys, ang ano lang natin dito, ang itaklarify ko lang itong ano, itong start date at saka end date ng student MOA. Okay? Alright. Uh, any questions so far, guys? Any questions? Clear ba so far? Yes, sir. I have a question po. Yes, sige. Ano po yung requirements for RA? Uh, yung requirements for RA, ano yun yung uh, you will uh, conduct a uh, review of related literature ng mga journal articles to be assigned by your advisor. Yung advisor nyo, makukuha nyo na yan bago magsimula ng term. So, uh, yung pri previous term, 30 journal articles to be appointed, assigned by your advisor, bahala, bahala na si advisor doon. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, who's this? Sorry, ha? Patricia Zapanta po. Patricia, sandali. Check ko lang yung ano, ha? Yung, okay. Okay, okay, Patricia. Sino pang research assistant? Okay. Si Mary, no? Ah, uh, uh, sorry, Patricia at Mary ang, ang focus ng discussion natin ano ha, yung, yung uh, OJT from home. But I'm happy that you're here kasi pwede pa kayong magbago ng isip. Eh. You can still, ano, you, can, you can opt to do OJT from home. At least alam nyo rin. No? Aware kayo para hindi kayo in the dark in case na you, you so decide to, uh, to do uh, OJT, no? OJT from home. Okay, para aware kayo. Okay. Also, also the others, guys, kunyari nag-OJT from home yung decision nyo, tapos later on talaga nahirapan kayo ng ano, nahirapan kayo kumuha ng ano, ng, uh, ng nahirapan kayo kumuha ng ano, ng uh, o, ng company, then you can, you can, uh, you can revert to research from home or research assistant. Walang problema yun. Okay? Kasi ang gusto natin syempre matapos kayo, whether it's research, research assistantship or whether it's OJT from home. Okay? All right. So, may mga hindi pa nagsasabit ng ano, ha, ng EAF, uh, CA, CA audit. No? Uh, ano deadline natin, guys? Ang deadline ng submission ng documents, kasi ganito, no? Uh, let's give uh, OULC at saka OVPERI, mga, sabihin natin three weeks. No? Three weeks. So, 20, mga 20 days. Mga uh, 18 to 20 days to process the document para hindi tayo na na, na penalize na late submission. 
Okay? So if we're going to put there in the start date, October 11, assuming na October 11 yung start ng, ano, ng classes, tapos yung nakalagay natin sa institutional MOA at saka sa student MOA, October 11, then if we go back mga 20 days, so October 1, that's 11 days. So dapat mga, ano, mga, mga September, September 20, okay? September 24, that's... Uh, 7 plus 11, 18. Okay, mga, kahit September 24, guys, yung end ng term. Pwede natin gawing deadline yan. Ibig sabihin, guys, ang deadline, kailangan na submit nyo na sa akin yung limang documents na yun. Kailangan ma-forward na natin yan sa, sa OULC. Okay, kasi they require mga, mga 2 to 3 weeks of processing time. Ibig sabihin ng processing time nila, dapat kung kailan yung start date, no? kung ilalagay natin October 11, dapat magbibilang tayo ng 3 weeks pabalik. No? 3 weeks pabalik. So mga September 24 yun. Okay? So dapat, ang deadline natin guys, gagawin natin, ilalagay mo na dito ah. Deadline, submission. September 24. <clears throat> okay, so lagay mo natin dito. So this will be uh, in in a worst case scenario guys na kailangan nyo ng, ng, ano, ng extension, then you will have to inform me. No? And we will we'll have to talk about that. Pero basta guys, dapat by ano, by Dapat by October 11, by the start of the term, dapat na-approve na ng ano, ng of very OULC, dapat na-approve na yung ano natin, yung document. Okay? Kasi dapat, ang ang requirement sa atin sa carriage of business, the, uh, the documentation has to have been approved already by o, of very OULC bago mag-start ng term. So, kaya nga ang deadline natin, September 24, so that gives us mga seven, mga ano, mga tama-tama lang yun. Just enough time for of very OULC to process the document. Uh, with the list of companies you sent, how do you contact the companies? Uh, siguro I, I'll, ano, I'll, uh, I'll uh, talk to the students who are currently doing their OJT this term. Hihingi tayo ng, ng considering contact person nila at saka yung contact number. Uh, I'll do that, no? para we can supply that information to you. Kasi so far, ang nalagay ko lang dito yung companies that students are doing OJT now. Hindi, hindi ko, uh, I have the list of their supervisors, pero wala akong contact number sila. So maybe I'll, I'll ask from the students uh, taking the OJT now to provide us with the contact with the uh, uh, Contact person. Contact person. And then the email address. Okay. So let me try to get this so that you, you have a copy of this. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay, dito, in general, for applying for internship, do we need to send, uh, sino to? Pakian lang, pa, para sa mabilis tayo, Sophia, pwedeng pakian lang, pakiverbalize lang, please. Hello, sir. Yes, Sophia. Yes. Uh, I, do we need to write a letter? Kasi so far, like, the ones I've searched, like, they ask for a resume or they have their own questions. Tapos, they don't really state na need letter or something. Mm -hmm. Depende yun, depende sa company. Some companies require an endorsement letter from the coordinator. Some companies do not. No? So, iba yun eh. uh, it's, it, it depends on the setup of the company. It depends on the requirements. So, you're correct. Yung pwede yung inaplayan mo, hindi naman sila nag-require ng endorsement letter. So, Pia, did that answer your question? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Tapos, um, quick question lang, sir. Yeah, For ahead, the RA, is there a limit? to the slots for RE? No. No limits. Ah. No limits. So, kunyari, nahirapan ka, 
uh, nahirapan ka mag ano mag uh, umanap ng HTE <clears throat> tapos wala na uh, lumabas siya ng deadline tapos sinubukan mo pa you ask for extension and then we counted the number of days and then we tried to see uh, kung pwede pa tapos sabi natin hindi na talaga pwede worst case scenario you can revert to RA no buti nga tayo may RA yung ibang colleges yung, yung ibang departments wala silang RA, RA OJT lang talaga sila so kung hindi sila makakuha ng OJT companies for next term hindi sila makakapag uh, practicum next term so kawawa na mo delay sila tayo may fallback tayo eh. kasi alam naman natin na ano alam natin na it's not really that easy now uh, especially during this time of the pandemic na uh, from home lahat mahirap talaga that's why ano na uh, that's why we're giving you leeway may option tayo kung hindi kayo maka H maka ano OJT pwede kayong mag RA ano uh, tapos sir question na ulit sorry uh, what if for example uh, you don't see let like let, let, let's say from the list of companies that you sent let's say through life tapos they don't advertise na they're looking for interns pero can we still apply to those companies yeah of course of course Uh, ano naman niya eh depende din sa ano sa yung pro life kasi malaki yan minsan dun sa minsan sa agents nila no uh, kasi minsan hindi yung pro life mismo yung ano but rather the agency no yung agent ng, ng pro life uh, hindi pa nga dito nakalagay last time meron tayong uh, dati may banko central dati may land bank uh, yung mga dati ay let me put your land bank land bank of the philippines dati meron tayong Uh, yung Banko Central kasi wala na ngayon eh. Ano pa ba? Ano pa ba mga government agencies? Alam ko may BIR din. Dati nag-BIR tayo, Bureau of Internal Revenue. Uh, tapos meron pang ano din dito sa ano? Which is ano? Uh, BOT ba? Bureau of Treasury yata, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's Bureau of Treasury. Uh, so sa government agencies pwede din, no? especially yung mga financial na ano na those that uh, provide financial services DOF din yata ay I'm not, I'm not mistaken Department of Finance so hindi hindi ko hindi to guys comprehensive ba itong list na to the, the the companies that I provided just now are those that 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 accepted OJTs for this term uh, may ibang bangko pa diyan RCBC RCBC ano pa ba Um, BPI they also accept they do accept ano BPI okay Marami pa no Marami pa siguro I'll, I'll look at uh, others uh, yung mga list ng dati then I'll provide it to you guys para may options kayo Okay okay uh kamusta naman guys I, I'd like to hear from you kamusta naman yung ano nyo uh any one of you would like to share meron na ba kayong inaplan na medyo gu- gumagalaw na Uh, sir, I have a question lang. Yeah, sure. Uh, I found this an internship opportunity at the company my mom works for. Uh, I won't if if ever I go with them, I won't be working under her specifically. Would that be okay lang, or is there like a conflict mm-hmm. uh, of interest? Yeah, uh, that is the issue, yan, ano? So, uh, let's just talk about it, no? Because hindi naman hindi naman outright hindi pa pwede. Uh, Siyempre, ando doon pa rin yung mga, ano, yung mga requirements. So, dapat sa finance, dapat, uh, yeah, you're correct, dapat hindi doon sa department ng mother mo. So, yung mga these things. And let's let's talk about that ano, uh, separately. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hey, sino to? Pierre Dominguez, sir. Uh, Pierre. Oh, sige. Thank you, Pierre. Okay. Any other questions, guys? Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead. Sir, what if the company recommends us to do on-site work? Sorry, sorry. Kapag pinapapunta po kami sa main office or something like that? Uh, no, hindi pa pwede, guys. Ha? In no instance, we do we allow OJT uh, na face-to-face. Dapat lahat yan 100% face-to-face. Guys, delikado, guys. Delikado. It's too dangerous. Tapos, kunyari, Uh, ako malalagot niyan guys kasi kunyari pumunta kayo doon tapos nag na, nag, nag uh, god forbid naman guys ha kunyari accidentally nagkaroon ng ano ng alam niyo naman yung delta variant niyan guys alam niyo where i'm coming from yung brother ko just recently 
because of that, ambilis guys, just a few days. Tapos, hindi namin na malayan. Strong yun, ha? napaka na, malakas yun yung brother ko. Younger brother ko. Uh, ang hirap, no? Ang, uh, ang who's this? Thank you. Uh, JM po. Sir. JM, oo, please. Wag, wag na wag, ha, guys. Pag mag, magre-require yung company na o oh, JT nyo na pumunta kayo doon, please, uh, no na yan, guys. Definitely no. Uh, we will be violating the policies of CHED and not only CHED, yung DLSU. Okay, so, uh, recorded to guys, ha, na pinagbawalan ko kayo na na pag sinabi ng company na HCE na you will have to go there, out na kagad yun, ha? Out na kagad yun. Uh, your life, guys, our health, our our well-being is more important than this, uh, than that the company, that, that, that HCE, no? Hindi pa pwede, no? Uh, JM, please, ha? Please. So, thank you, thank you for asking that question kasi uh, importante yun, no? Na buti na lang nat, natin ni JM kasi I, let me reiterate 100% OJT from home tayo. Hindi pa pwedeng in no instance guys na i-allow natin na papuntahin kayo doon kahit na magdala kayo ng document hindi pa pwede. Everything should be done via email. Okay? Yeah, okay lang kung may class uh, ano, Raynalyn, it's okay. Paano rin tayo patapos na rin tayo. Okay, so uh, I think yun na naman pinaka-importante doon. Hello Tapos, sir. Yes. Sorry, yes. question ulit. Tapos yes, sure. For the MOA po, the ba you said it needs to be one year? So, paano yun uh, when we explain it to the company? Kasi, di ba parang practicum one is parang the duration of next term lang? Oh yeah. So, uh, that's that, how we explain it to them lang. Yeah, yung ano nyo, be... yeah, correct. Yung, yung OJT nyo is only for the duration of the term. For the institutional MOA, the reason why we're making it one year is because uh, we expect that it will be a continuing relationship with the company. So, kunyari, next next term, mag-ano mag, pa rin sila ng OJT, at least hindi na, hindi na ipaprocess yung institutional MOA kasi meron na. So, yun ang, ano, yun ang, uh, yun ang i-explain natin sa kanila. Now, we would like uh, as much as possible the MOA to be, uh, the duration is one year. Kung pwede nga two years, mas maganda. Did that answer your question? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Sige. Sino pa? Uh, sino to? Pakiano nga, please? Si Mariela, please. Paki, uh, share mo yung question mo sa lahat para makita din nila. Uh, yes, sir. Um, oh. If ever we get accepted in a financial institution po, are we strictly required to perform finance-related work for our OJT? There are some yeah. financial okay. institutions po kasi who are open mm -hmm. for interns internship but are offering but are not offering finance related positions po. Mm -hmm. hindi pa pwede kasi alam mo dati nga nag-inspect ako dun sa ano nag, nung dati pa yung pwede pang face to face. Pumunta ako dun sa OJT place ng isang estudyante. Alam mo pinapagawa sa kanya ano office administration nag pinapakat out, pinapa ano uh, isa hindi na ano hindi na utilize hindi na optimize yung ano yung yung reason deter yung reason for the OJT kasi finance tayo eh di ba so gusto natin na ang ang function na ipapaano sa inyo finance hindi naman kayo accounting student so hindi kayo pwedeng mag auditing no? hindi naman kayo uh, marketing so hindi kayo pwedeng sa sales or sa advertising sa mga promotions hindi kayo pwedeng doon so it should be strictly finance kaya nga ang first and foremost ang inaano natin mga MFI mga financial institutions yun ang preferred natin but if it's not a financial institution, it should be listed in the PSE and then dapat finance related yung function yung. If it's not listed in the PSE, kailangan inform us about it and then if we vet natin, titignan natin kung pepede yung company na yun. Kasi we will have to look at the size of the company, tapos kung ano yung papagawa sa inyo. No? So yung mga, yung mga those things before we can, uh, we can uh, process the application. Okay, katulad dito sa list dito nakikita nyo, Caliber, Technology, dito marami dito na ano eh, Sights and Sound, Outdoor Advertising. Hindi naman siya talaga MFIs pero ang, ang nature talaga ng work na pinapaano, talagang finance related talaga. So yun ang tinitinan natin. Okay, kasi we don't want you to do, <laughs> yung dati nakikita ako face to face po yun ha, na, ano ko na, na I, I got sad kasi 
Kasi hindi tayo strict dati sa ganun eh. Basta sige kahit anong company lang, sige tas hindi natin masyado may monitor yung ano yung pinapagawa. Pero ngayon, very strict na, na dapat finance related yung ano yung function. Otherwise, sayang lang yung ano niyo, yung yung degree kaya nga tayo nag OOJT para uh, ang rela- ang related na pinapagawa sa inyo dapat yung ano yung related sa ano niyo sa sa course niyo. Okay? I hope that answers your question. Okay? Hindi hindi uh, Yes, sir. Thank oh, you. Hindi, hindi sa pinapahirapan natin kayo, no? hindi. Ang ano, for you to benefit kasi sayang yung 3 months na 300 hours or 200 hours na uh, you'll be spending, you'll be investing in tapos wala naman pala. Sayang. <laughs> sayang 'yun. Kaya nga binebet natin yung mga institutions na that we partner with. Okay, any other questions, guys? Sir, question yes. lang po regarding institutional MOA po. Yes, sure. Uh, what if po um, natanggap po ng company pero they don't want to sign the institutional MOA na one year po? Uh, does that mean bawal na po? Hindi naman. I-aam natin. I-explain natin sa ano, sa we will write of Perry na ano na this company. Uh, sana may proof tayo ano, na they don't want uh, as much as possible to engage in or to do a MOA that's for uh, one year or more. So, sabihin lang natin. Tapos pa-approve natin. Let's see if uh, they're willing to do that. No? Okay, thank you, sir. Actually, uh, oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Actually, beneficial naman para sa company yun. Eh, kasi less work later on. If we have now institutional MOAs na for one year, kasi it doesn't mean naman na next term tatanggap sila ng OJT. Hindi. Ang ibig sabihin lang nun, if they so desire to accept OJT again, then pwede na, pwede na ulit ang ipaprocess na yung student MOA. Kasi may existing institutional MOA na eh. Diba? That's the benefit. That's uh, what you have to explain to the uh, HTEs, the, the supervisors that you're going to talk to. Uh, benefit yun for the, ano, for, the, uh, ano, for the company, for the HTE, kasi uh, at least sa isang taon, no? isang, isang beses lang ipoprocess yung institutional MOA. Again, it does not mean that they will have to take in OJTs every term. Kasi meron pa isang document yung student MOA. So ito na ngayon yung, ano, yung specific na na MOA between the student and the HTE. Okay? Uh, yes, uh, Gian- Gianna? Hi, sir. Uh, my, my question is, if the company is asking for the endorsement letter, is it okay that um, two students will just send one endorsement letter because both of them are applying for the company? Or should yeah, we... May template naman tayong endorsement letter. No? Uh, wait. Uh, like kasi two ang, students po in one letter. Ah, uh, uh, para hindi siya maganda no kasi ano eh mas maganda na lang kung individual. Kasi ang it's possible that the company will uh, will uh, will uh, evaluate the applicants on, on an individual basis. So mas maganda na lang kung uh, bawat isa may may kanya-kanyang endorsement letter. Okay po. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, o nga pala no, uh, I I think I've signed uh, no, I've signed most of the Ah, uh, kung may ano pa guys, kung merong kunyari may hindi ako nababasa minsan na email na ano, nagpapaano kayo ng endorsement, i-PM niyo ako kagad ah, na remind me kasi minsan uh, it's not frequent na nagbubukas ako ng email sir. Eh. Mas nabubukas ako ng Messenger, no? Kasi for instant messages. Okay, minsan kasi once once or twice a day lang ako nagbubukas ng email. Pero yung Messenger halos lagi nakabukas siya eh, para immediate ko makikita kung kung may pinapasign kayo, may sinend kayo sa akin sa email na hindi ko pa na na endorse no? Okay? All right, any other questions guys? Okay, uh, kung wala na, I hope I hope okay lang tayo. Now, at, as we go closer to kasi malapit na yung September 24, yun ang deadline natin. Uh, mag I'll be asking guys for more for more meetings ha. Baka once a week as we go close. Kasi gusto ko kung may mga problems kayo, kung may mga issues kayo, uh, weekly na, na share natin. Kahit mga ano lang tayo, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, at, at the most siguro, patuloy to one hour tayo. No? Ay, hindi, 45 minutes lang pala tayo kasi 5.15 tayo nagsimula. Mga ganun lang. Para ano lang tayo, updated lang tayo. Tsaka, I, I want you uh, to ask questions kasi kasi your questions might also be the concern of your classmates. So I want us to really, as a community, uh, of uh, 
uh, for you a uh, community of students who are going to take OJT next term para tulungan tayo no? okay are there any questions guys uh, sir I have a question po. okay if ever we're gonna ask for your signature po for the endorsement letter which email po yung gagamitin namin yung sa to DLSU. send to you po yung sa DLSU tapos maganda kung IPM nyo rin ako no para sabay para minsan kasi hindi ko kagad nakikita yung email but kung nag PM kayo sa akin mas makikita ko kagad yun okay all right did that answer your question ah uh, yes sir thank you okay tapos yung recording nito guys dito ko ilalagay ah yung link no ilalagay ko dito every time na nang mag-aano tayo one tapos two yung link guys dito ko ilalagay yung recording dito orientation on Okay, para just inform the rest also who are not here. So, ito, orientation last July. Ito naman orientation. Okay, I'll post here the, uh, the URL so that you can review if you want to. Okay, uh, are there any more questions, guys? Okay, chat na lang kung clear na tayo, guys, so far. Yes, please, kung clear na tayo so far. Okay, thank you. Thank you, salamat. Okay, thank you guys for your responses. Thank you for your feedback. Okay, so let me uh, stop recording now.